Hey guys, I'm Lucas, welcome to KNews episode 18. The European Ariane 5 will launch this Wednesday from Kourou and the launch window opens at 5.30 pm local time. The rocket is built like so. In the middle is the liquid fueled main stage, which uses the Vulcan 2 engine. Strapped on the sides are two solid rocket motors, which dwarf the main stage at 10 times the thrust. On top sits the also liquid fueled upper stage, which will shoot the payload into a geostationary transfer orbit at a relatively low thrust of 67 kN, which would be just enough to flip a car on its roof. The payload are two communication satellites, which is quite normal for a launch to a geostationary orbit. The smaller RZ2 sits below such a bell shaped cover, and on top is the Skymaster satellite. If everything goes according to plan, Ariane 5 will cause a quote, rumble in the jungle in South America, lifting 780 metric tons into the air. It will fly towards an inclination of 6 degrees. The rocket will climb vertically for the first 5 seconds and will then begin its pitch motion, which gradually points the tip to the horizon. 2 minutes and 14 seconds into the flight, the boosters will separate and a minute later, the rocket will be high enough to jettison the fairing protecting the payload. The bigger satellite, Skymaster, is launched for the Australian National Broadband Network, or NBN for short. The government basically puts those satellites into orbit and providers can rent them to sell their services to their customers. This of course opened up the market for smaller providers, which could not afford to launch a satellite on their own. The satellite's orbital position can range from 135 to 150 degrees east and it can cover Australia including the Norfolk, Christmas, Macquarie and Cocos Islands. The second one is RZ2, which stands for Argentina Satellite. It is roughly half the size and launched for InWeb, which is an Argentine governmental company. They do research on nuclear reactors and also construct such around the globe. One customer which caught my eye is the Atomic Energy Organization of Iran. This organization is still targeted by sanctions of the United States and the United Nations, which relates to the conflict in the Middle East. However, the process to terminate those sanctions shall start in October. The satellite will be placed at 81 degrees west, right over America, covering it from Argentina to Canada. Back in space, Skymaster will be released almost 28 minutes into the flight, followed by the shell two minutes after. Ariane's mission slowly comes to an end after the separation of RZ2 at T-32 minutes and 28 seconds. Both satellites will perform the maneuvers autonomously and reach their destinations within months and operate for at least 15 years. Ok, that was KNews episode 18 covering the upcoming Ariane 5 launch. Feel free to share your thoughts about it or related topics if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.